Welcome to a brand new episode. Now, as you can see, this is probably not where we started our journey. We started way back in Nairobi. So make sure you hit like, subscribe and follow this video. So what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're on the road, we're going for a journey, just filling up fuel. Just filling up fuel in the 80 and then we're going to be ready for our journey. As you can see, I needed 53 liters at 10,312. So filling up with good old petrol, just about to pay here at Shell Petrol Station. And we're just about to get going with our journey. So stay tuned and you're going to enjoy this episode. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment down below and let's get right into it. Alright guys, we're in the 80 series. I hope you enjoyed the opening sequence. You guys might be wondering why I'm, go I'm taking the 80 series on a trip instead of the Cygnus, but <clears throat> I just really enjoy driving the 80 series and uh, you know that old school vibe and it's just, it's just such a character, it's just such an event, you know. Even just driving up to Nevasha is just such an event in the, in the 80 series, whereas the Cygnus would do it really calmly and really easily. But um, yeah, so here's the, here's the journey ahead. Here's how it's looking. Welcome to another road trip video. We're just about, I don't know, 40, maybe 30, 40 kilometers out of Nairobi. It's a hot day and uh, we're cruising along. Got a full tank ready to go, loaded up. And the journey is Nevasha. If some of you have not been to Nevasha, we'll head up to Lake Nevasha and take you along on this journey. So if you enjoy, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment down below I've got all my tire pressures at 30 I find that works that works well even though I'm running mud mud terrain tires there is a bunch of wind noise in this vehicle that's the only thing you know that's the negative but in terms of the ride quality I really think the suspension has started to sort of settle you know the Ironman uh, springs just that's just a speed bump and this is typical of, of our Nairobi roads just speed bumps everywhere but I, I really believe my suspension has started to settle now and, and kind of soften up you know it's 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 feeling better and as you can see people just don't know how to drive in Nairobi so everyone will just be overlapping and doing all this kind of nonsense as usual <laughs> so we are on route uh, so suspension feels a bit cushy a bit more cushy and a bit softer than when I remember I'd, I'd fitted this. It's just been about a year, but as you guys know, I've not put that much mileage on the 80. So I want to just put a bit more mileage on this 80 series so the suspension can settle better, those springs can get worked, and it just gets a bit more soft and cushy where I kind of like the ride. Because we do have a two inch lift and you do feel nice and high in this kind of car. So let's head on, see where we get.
We're just on the escarpment guys. I love to stop over here and catch the views. You guys know me. I love a good view and this is just stunning. The air is crisp up here. Oxygen is great. AD is behind me. Beautiful scenes. Let's continue on on our journey. But I think this is just stunning and I always love to stop, support the locals and, and get a good view. kilometers out of Nebasha now as you guys can see the weather just <clears throat> changed very suddenly looks like it might have been raining up here so we are at higher altitude up here if you guys look up here and I do believe the 80 is accurate because when we left Nairobi we were at about 1900 meters and this looks like we're at about 2500 meters I'll have to confirm that with my phone and tells us that we're heading west right now so useful little information up here but look at the weather it's absolutely it's actually raining up ahead, pretty interesting. So for those of you not watching in Kenya, this is how our roads are guys. Those of you watching, I know some of you are in US, Australia. Welcome to the channel. This is how Nairobi roads look. And uh, yeah, people overtake on a solid yellow. In fact, solid yellow means nothing to people. Look at this 200 over here just uh, deciding to, to fly. You know when you're in the 80 series you have to kind of contain yourself because you know you're not as fast as those cars so you you gotta just drive at your, at your pace when i'm in my 100 series it's totally different but with the 80 i'm just gonna go at my pace because it's, can't keep up with the other stuff <laughs> it's much more fun if you just go a bit relaxed as well it's not the longest journey but my is it beautiful in some areas did not expect this rain, that's for sure. It's just a drizzle though, but could get serious. Good thing we have some Bosch wipers that are doing the job. Quite silent as well. This is what we call escarpment. Kind of going downhill now, getting off the mountain. My oh my, is it foggy. We just stopped like 45 minutes ago and you guys saw we were in sun and the beautiful uh, kind of the countryside. But this is the weather change right now, crazy. About 80 kilometers later, 80, 90 kilometers later, and we're almost reached our destination. Just a hundred kilometer journey, but check the trees out, guys. This is when you know you're in Nevasha. It's a telltale sign in Kenya. Exactly these kind of spooky trees. I'm sure one of you know what these trees are called. But we have made it. This is the Moy South Lake Road. 
almost at our destination. We aren't doing any camping. Weather is a bit <clears throat> rough, so we are staying in a lodge, but we will do a bunch of things on this trip. So we have arrived, Moy South Lake Road, almost at our destination. Yeah, the 80 likes this kind of road much better than tarmac. All right, guys, we finally made it on day one. Overcast weather. Gotta say, the 80 just, you know, really enjoyable to drive. I've got to admit on the tarmac, she might be just a bit misbehaving, you know, just not the smoothest thing on tarmac. But once you get onto loose gravel, once you get onto any other surface, what a pleasure to drive. Engine has been burning great. Power delivery has been fantastic. Touch wood. And here we are, reached our destination. And one way you know you love your vehicle, guys, is when you park it and you just turn, keep turning back to have a look. So just rounding off the days, I just wanted to show you the 80 series next to the, something like a Toyota Fortuner. You can see the Fortuner looks a bit like a little baby compared to the 80. So modern cars built to look a bit smaller, but of course my 80 is running a two inch lift. We've got some supplies for our stay here and we're just rounding off day one guys. This has been day one.